good. We made it. It's good that we already went. Chicago. It's too hot. When you speak Ojibwe, what is your name?
right dancers I ask you to hold your place hold your place My friends and relatives, before I talk a little about the songs, I thank the Creator that we're all out here this evening, you know, singing and dancing and at the feast. It's, it's good to be back out here. And it's a lot to be thankful for. And hopefully, things get a little better as we move on. These songs, any song that is a special song, that we always put prayer before, 
That's what I was told growing up. Every time they're giving tobacco to sing honor songs, memorial songs. Any ceremonial song, we always talk to the Creator in our own language. And we're told that these songs that we learn, that we need to pass them on to the young ones. I was told a long time ago, every time I went to ceremony, I was told to listen. Listen to what the people are saying, the elders. There will be a time in the future when you're going to be there, and I see that today. And I smudge every day. I think about my, my elders, the teachers that I, I had going to ceremonies, learning all these songs from them. They always said that to be able to remember these songs without using a gadget, we learn by ear, by listening. That's the right way to learn these songs. To be humble in life. And there's days that myself, you know, I feel sad. It hurts me when I see. Because I was told, if we don't talk about these things, in the future, things are going to change. It is us that have to remind. Even myself, I need a reminder. We need to talk about these things because in the future, things are going to change, and I see a lot of that. My mother had the traditional round dance for our community. Once a year, she had to put the round dance. And we only had one elder that used to help my mother. And I grew up with my dad who was an alcoholic, and I'm never ashamed to it to talk about that because my mother was also my father. I was in my early 20s when she left to the other side. And she always told me, you remember what those elders said. One of these days, you're going to be there in that same spot. All these singers I grew up with, there's only one other singer besides me that we all grew up together. And we're all from different reservations. And a lot of my friends were from Alberta, British Columbia. Now they're all, all on the other side. So anytime I go to ceremony, I always put the tobacco down for them. And I think about them. What they told me 30, 40 years ago, I, I remember it now. This is what they were talking about. These drums, you see the drums in the middle. Protocols with those drums. It's like the big drums. Before we start the round dance, those drums should be like this, with the handle up. And that old man used to say, before, you, before I sing this song, I hit the drum four times for the four directions. At the first beat of the drum, they're already inside. They're already here beside us. When we do the go-home song, we hit that drum four times. 
At the first beep, they're already gone. They went back home. They always said during the round dance, you never put those drums upside down. You put them upside down, it's like you're telling your relatives, it's time for you to go. While well, we're still on with the ceremony. Like these songs, these giveaway songs. It's a lot to be thankful for. Because these songs weren't made. They were passed on from generation to generation. I started singing these songs. I'm 59 today. I was in my late 40s when I accepted tobacco to sing these songs because nobody gave me that right to sing those songs. I knew the song. Because when somebody was given tobacco to sing the songs, giveaway songs, I go and help sing those songs because I wanted to learn them. But for me to sing those songs, I had to give tobacco, I had to give gifts to ask for the right to sing those songs. For so long, I had to learn by ear. And it's always good to see the little ones. A lot of times I see people telling the little ones, go sit down, don't fool around, go sit down. We need to encourage them. Because that's what those elders said. Encourage, you teach. You're not always gonna be here. I'm not always gonna be here. I see that today. I'm glad to be here tonight. I'm sure a lot of you are too, you know, because of COVID. My uncle left this world not too long ago. Always talked about songs. And a lot, of, a lot of times people ask me to sing memorial songs for them and it's hard for me to say no because I know how it is to lose a loved one. And they want me to sing it virtual. And I can never say no because I know how it feels because I lost my mother at a very young age. And what got me through was the drum and the songs. I used to go to ceremony. If I wasn't listening, I used to get hit with a drumstick. Yes, my elders were strict. But I see today what they had talked about. I want to thank you all for listening and I hope I don't offend anyone. Just some things that I was told by my elders. I hope 